What's up guys? In this video I want to talk about flags. Now, <clears throat> in previous videos um, you've seen me do remove RF or copy R and there's been like this little dash and an R and it looks different than all the other commands. I didn't really explain it, I just said type this command and it works. So now I'm going to explain what that is um, and how it works. So it's called a flag and it's basically an option for that command. It gives you gives it like a little different um, function or a little bit different um, effect of how it works. It works a little bit differently than if you uh, ran without the flag. So uh, a couple other things, a couple other flags I just want to share with you guys is remember if I go to my home directory, remember when I did ls and you saw these but then when we were looking in Finder and we go to my home directory, there's a crap load of other files I have in here. We're only seeing these ones shown in bold. Why is that? Well, the main um, way that ls works is it doesn't show any files that start with a dot. So notice this is dot .slime, dot .ssh, and all that stuff is dot. Well, to see dots, you have to use the dash elf a flag, excuse me. Um, so notice if I do ls-a and I hit enter, wow, that is a lot of files all of a sudden because it shows all the ones that start with dots. Um, <clears throat> the other thing you can do is what's known as a long listing, which is ls-l. Um, this is just another way to do ls. It gives you a little bit more information. Here it shows the permissions on the file, which I'll talk about in a different video. Um, of what this means, um, time you made it, and you know some other stuff here. Uh, for that's really not that important. Um, um, but the other thing you can do is notice again. I just did lsl, so it did not show all these files. Again, all it showed was these main ones. You can pair flags together, so I could do dash a dash l, um, and looky there, we are now getting a long listing and we're seeing all files. Um, another thing you can do, I, I believe this is just for ls, I could be wrong, I haven't looked too much into it. You can combine them together like that, that's another way to do it. But most of the time, I will do two flags like this. Not for ls, because I usually see it like this. But for example, if I'm doing remove, um, I'm pretty sure you can do remove rf like that too. There's some other ones that I don't clump together. It depends on the command that I'm using, but most of the time I will separate flags. Um, another really cool one is um, with makedir. Let's say I want to create um, something like um, folder one, folder two, and they don't exist. Up oh, doesn't let me because folder one doesn't exist, but I want to create this whole path. Um, I want to create multiple files. Well, you can do make dirt dash p, and what that'll do is that'll make the whole path. So I can do f1 slash f2, f3, f4. And now if I do an ls on f1, you notice there's an f2. If I do an ls on f1, f2, and you notice there's the whole bunch um, is there. So that allows you to make the whole path of a directory. And there's lots of other flags. For almost every command that I've shown you so far, there's tons of them. Well, how do you know what you know flags they have and what it does? Well, there's something called man. Um, and so I'm just going to clear this. Uh, man, and then you type the name of the uh, command that you want to know information on. For example, I would like to more know more about ls, this command. If I hit enter, you'll then be put off to this page that looks super weird. You notice your cursor is down at the bottom. Um, what this is is called a manual page, and it shows you some information about the commands, and it also shows you these flags here. And what you do, you can scroll through this and actually look at what it does. To scroll, um, use J to go down, K to go up, and if you hit the space bar, that goes down a full page. And then once you're done, if you hit Q, you'll exit out. So we can look at copy, and you can do this for all the commands. I'm just going to go through. I can. Um, look at the different things that we can do. I can do a dash A with copy, you can do a dash F, and it tells you what it does. So that's um, pretty helpful. Um, so that's it for today. That's um, 
So good, important ones to remember. Um, LS-A gives you all the files, um, in that, including the ones that start with a dot. Um, L gives you a long listing. It gives you a little bit more information. Makedir-P gives you the whole path like that, and it builds everything. It gives you that whole thing. And then uh, man, and then the name of a, a command will give you the manual page, so you're able to look at what that command does. Super helpful, super good.